Hey, what's up guys? Shane here with Rice Creek Bushcraft. Um, I want to show you guys what I do um, if I take meat or maybe if I'm out squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, um, how I cook it. I guess a simplistic way is to just skewer it with a stick and put it over the fire and that's fine. That works well. But I got a little bit different way that I use and I just want to show you guys <clears throat> what that is and how I do it. I don't have anybody to run the camera so and I can't stop my camera this camera doesn't allow me to stop and restart the video so I'm all make it as seamless as possible but um, I've got some of the stuff that we need already set up so the video wasn't 35 minutes long who wants to watch me and listen to me talk for 35 minutes pretty boring so um anyways what you're gonna need is to to make this is just a saw. I have the Silky Pocket Boy. Um, and then I'm kind of twofold video. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to be able to test my TK2, my Falcon even TK2. Got to use it a little bit, but not really got to use it. So we're going to get to do that today. Got a ferro rod. So the first thing we'll do is get a fire started. I've already got the, the parts of the grill. Um, they're basically just Y sticks. I've already got those cut, set, ready to go. Then we'll need a couple cross members to span the Y sticks and then some, you know, like lattice pieces to go across that you can actually set your meat on. I mean, it's not really good for putting a pot or anything on. It's just basically for cooking meat, fish, squirrels, rabbits, whatever you might have. Um, usually for me, it's something I bought from the store and bring out here, but you'll get the point. It's pretty handy to use. It's pretty simple to make, so um, I'll reset the camera, we'll try to get the fire going, and then we'll start working on the grill and uh, show you guys what that's all about. Alright, just give me a second. Alright, got the camera set. Let's see if I can get a fire going, it's been raining here for weeks on and off so I've got some I've got some birch bark I've got a little bit of fat wood got some sticks a little bit of a TP going here so hopefully the stuff will take off it should just gonna throw some fat wood in here on this birch bark Hope it takes off. You know how that goes when you want to do it. I got some smaller sticks here. Throw on top of this, hopefully get my TP going good. I just feel like if you're outdoors, you're making a video you gotta have a fire right I like to have a fire okay that's a fire right All right, that's good enough for the fire. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you, um, I'll take the camera off the tripod, show you the uh, the uprights so you can see that it's really simple and basic. It's just sticks that um, I put in the ground here with Ys on them. So I have four of those, okay. Next, I've got these two pieces. We'll 
that we're gonna, I'm not gonna do it now because the fire's going too hot. I mean, if you wanna cook, you're gonna let your fire down, um, die down and kind of use a very small flame and mostly the coals that you create, but I'm gonna put these on here just so you can see. So we'll have these two pieces like so, then we're gonna lay pieces across like this, and that's what we're gonna cook on. So I'll get the camera set up and we'll make the, the other pieces that we need for this. Okay. Which I'll be doing over there on my stump that I use. So I've just cut pieces like this that are gonna be long enough to span our cross members. Well, that's pretty basic. I'm gonna baton these with my TK2 into probably quarters. So we've just got some pieces like this, four pieces like so. I don't know, these are probably one inch thick or so and I would suggest using wood that's green if you can do so in the area you're at. Um, I'm on some private property so I can do that, I have permission to do that. If you have to use wood that's dead, this will still work. You just need to soak it in water for an hour or so while you're setting up camp or doing whatever. Get these split up first and then um, just soak, in, soak them in some water if you maybe have a little you know, water hole around a river, creek, whatever. Usually some type of water where you're camping. Gotta keep my fire going. Fire goes out, that's no good. All right, so we have four. Get the rest of these split up. I'm not going to give you dimensions as far as length. I mean, it depends on your fire lay, how wide that is. So it's just simple laying a stick up there and making sure it's long enough, not too short. Mine's probably around just shy of three foot across. So, but it can be whatever. Well, the TK2 is doing its job. I mean, it's not exactly a super heavy duty knife for some, you know, major work in batoning, but it does the job. Okay, so I think we have enough pieces here to go across our cross members. So I'm gonna set that up and let you guys see what it looks like. And it's, it is really handy. I use it all the time. And like I say, as long as your wood's been soaked in water or it's green, um, it's usually going to be okay for this. It's not going to burn up real quick. So then you take the you have you have these two. You lay these across like so, with whatever space you need. Actually, these pieces that I split that are running this way, they could they could be probably some of these could be half the size, I suppose. Might be a little thicker than I normally normally use, maybe something like this. But I'm not going to be too precise here. I just want you guys to see this. Something you can try out if you had to or wanted to. See if I can get the camera adjusted so you can see it well. So that's basically it. 
It's just a simple way to be able to cook some food, some meat up over your fire. The fire is almost um, where it should be to cook. Obviously, you'd like to get a little bit better, better coals, but um, the flames aren't too outrageous where it's going to completely toast your meat. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. It's a pretty basic thing to to build, but it's pretty handy. If you didn't have something to cook on and you brought some meat, maybe. Um, I know that I like to have a steel grill, but if you're going back in a little ways, it's just not very feasible to carry um, that. And besides. When you get finished cooking it's usually dirtier than hell and it gets all over your gear and in your backpack and so I tend to just do this if I'm gonna bring something to some meat to cook so next I think what we'll do the next video if I have time here um, we'll make a something similar to this but it'll be a just a, a piece across the top a couple white posts and then we'll make some pot hangers and we can hang our on pots for cooking and making coffee or tea or whatever so there you go guys my bushcraft grill hope you enjoy the video leave me some comments let me know what you think thanks and have a good one